Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here, welcome back to the Counterside video. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, uh, we have Ifrit coming in a couple of days. Alright, so this is for global region, the global server. And I'm sure uh, if you guys follow the Twitter page, you can see they did make a post uh, yesterday, I think July 30th, right? Uh, today is 1st of August for me. You can see Ifrit armed with a standalone AI and the administration's latest technology is soon to report for duty. For more information on Ifrit, please refer to his profile. Now, of course, Ifrit is not coming alone, right? We can expect two more characters, which is Estak and Tarask, right? So these two characters, all of them, they are pretty decent, all right? Especially, uh, I would say Ifrit and Tarask is going to be the better one. Alright, so Taras is an SR, so just so you guys know, while Estak is an SSR. Out of these three, Taras is the only uh, SR in this bunch, while Ifrit and Estak are both SSR, right? Now the question here is who is going to be paired with Taras, right? In the banners, so far I'm sure you guys have seen most banners before. Uh, most banners, there's only going to be one SSR. You can't put two SSR. So far, I don't think Global has done it yet, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but please correct me if I'm wrong, right? For example, right here, uh, we have Alex, and then we have Chifuyu, Chinatsu, you can see all single SSR. Uh, in the C server, uh, the same thing applies for most of the banners, right? So most of the banners, you can see like Yansing right now, Sky Layfield, KC Beans, uh, like a lot of these, when they do have their rerun, they usually come like in the single character banner for SSR, but for SR, they don't usually make a rerun. Now, here's the thing. Here's a trap that I want you guys to be very wary of. All right, please do not pull for SR. All right, so this is something that a lot of C players fall trapped into. Like, it's just crazy. Uh, players end up wasting a bunch of their tickets just trying to get the SR because with the mindset is SR is easier to get, right? Now, I'm sure you guys are aware, all right, how the banner works, how the SSR banner works is like, you do 150 pulls. If you don't get the SSR, the selected one, the featured in the banner within the 150 pulls, you will pity the character. That's just how it works. But for SR, there is no pity. All right, so there is where it comes in. And a lot of players have this illusion that it's an SR, it's going to be easier to obtain. Uh, this happened a lot in C server, right? Which is incredibly crazy, considering that SR's rate is 15%. But to get that particular SR that you do not have, it's actually kind of hard. Now, some of you guys might have experienced this, all right? So most recently in Global Server, there was this banner, all right? So this was the admin banner. So admin banner is the first banner notorious of doing such a thing. So uh, this one is made even harder specifically because admin sword fighter shares a banner with two featured SR, which is admin shieldman and admin rifleman. Now, a lot of players back in C server, I remember, and some of you guys in global actually pull on this banner and end up getting one or the other, and you want the other one, but you don't get the other one, which is kind of cringe, but it is what it is. Uh, usually, banners like this are kind of a trap, so you gotta watch out for this. Uh, you can see Admin Sword Fighter right here is something that you can pity easily. But these two, I've heard somebody actually pitied uh, Admin Sword Fighter three times? And that guy didn't even get a single admin rifleman. That's how hard it is to obtain SR characters in general. So please, if you are free to play, all right? Again, my advice usually is much more stricter to free to play players. If you are a whale, probably it doesn't matter because you can spend, you are going to spend a lot anyways. But if you're free to play, I wouldn't advise pulling specifically for SR characters. Now, a lot of SR characters are really good. The upcoming one, uh, Coming this week, I believe, is going to be Taras, like I've mentioned. Like, compared to a lot of other mechs SR out there, Taras is by far the most useful mech. Alright, so this guy has decent chunk of uh, base attack, you can see it here. Uh, 8,000, I'm not sure if you guys can notice that. That's with gears, but without gears, it's about maybe 6,000 plus. Right, so decent stats overall, low evasion, but whatever. What makes this guy really, really strong is the ability to decrease target's defense right here. So this particular skill on the passive, all right? So since this is a mech, he has two passive, right? So one of the passive ability is to decrease target's defense by 20% for four seconds. And the thing about uh, defense reduction in this game is you can stack with each other. So you can use Taras stacking with Chifuyu, for example, stack with Roy, which makes a very useful raid comp, right? To be able to decrease the, uh, the boss's defense by a, a big chunk. 
so you can stack as much as you can in the future there will be dash as well for defense a reduction and lonely and those characters can help you immensely in raids so tarask by far definitely very useful but like i mentioned should you risk pulling for tarask right here's the thing my answer to you is most likely no here's why right so right now we are aware that ifrit is going to be on a banner like i've shown you right so uh, ifrit is going to have his own banner and I strongly believe they are going to do it the same way with how they did it on C server, which is they will stack. This is a, a video that I did about eight or nine months ago, back in 2021, right? When C server released, you can see Astak and Tarask is in the same banner. So I doubt Tarask is going to share with Ifrit. All right. So the idea here is you ideally want to get Ifrit and you want to get Tarask as well if you can. But if they are on separate banner, then that's going to be even harder uh, because nobody pulls for Astak, right? Astak is like the worst, one of the worst sniper in the game. Uh, this is a four cost, you know, outclassed by all the better snipers out there. Like Xiao Lin is four cost, Liu Mila is four cost, you know, like there's no reason to pull for Astak, right? If you're looking for a sniper specifically, uh, you're better off to use either one of those. And in Metcom, Sylvia proved to be better. So you can see uh, in this banner, I most likely strongly believe that uh, it's going to be the same case for Global as well. I will try to link this video for you guys to watch. It's quite funny. This is a very long video. You can see it's a one hour video. But I did a bunch of pulls for my viewers, right? And one of the viewers, I think Kunoko back then, he tried to pull for Tarask. He ended up beating this guy, I think almost two times. He still didn't get Tarask. If you experienced that first time, I think in the end he got it. In the end, he managed to get his Tarask. He, that was his first acquisition. Like he got Titan. Right? And then he got like, um, he got a few SSR along the way. He even got Regina along the way. All of these SSR appear, but Taras still didn't appear, which is crazy. So you can see Ifrit is in his own solo banner right here. So Tarask and Astak is going to be separated. So keep in mind that this advice uh, might apply to future characters as well. Not just for current Taras and Astak. This is going to apply for the future SR characters, there are a few character, there are a few SR characters that's coming. They are actually quite strong. The Flora Made Surveys banner. And this consists of Veronica, alright, uh, and Monet. Now a lot of players try to get Monet. Monet is very, very good. I know she's a lolly, mate lolly is very cool, and you don't see mate lolly often in any other games. I understand. But please try to avoid doing the same thing. Uh Lily is a Counterpass character last time in C server. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case for global, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, this is going to be a R character that uh, global do not have yet. This is the pro most probably, most likely, this is going to be the next batch of characters with an SR uh, banner in it. And then also be careful with this banner as well, which is Sky Layfield and Artilana. I believe I can't remember where was Sky. I think Sky Layfield was her own banner, and then Artilana was included with KC Beans. Right, and a lot of players try to pull for Artilana. Again, this SR Lolly is something that you want to watch out for. She's pretty strong in PvP, one of the better snipers in the game for tanky builds. But again, I wouldn't advise pulling specifically for SR character. Alright, so consider this video a warning, especially for Astak and Tara's banner. Oh yeah, one thing. Also, why you want to avoid pulling for Astak and Tara's banner is because you guys might not be aware yet, but in C server, these characters are farmable in the side story. All right, later on, I think uh, Global eventually will have this. I'm not sure what server will have what anymore because it's like a mixture of some server has this, some server has that, different server have different management, so it's like, uh. So anyways, uh, in C server right now, you can see Tarask and Astak's uh, shards are farmable, all right, in the side story. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. I wouldn't advise pulling for them. Again, I'm not sure when this will come to Global, but it's already here on C reason. It came to C about three, four weeks ago. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, since Astak is farmable, I wouldn't advise pulling for uh, Astak. All right, so you are going to get Astak eventually. Now for Tarask, being an SR, I feel like eventually you're going to get him anyways in other banners. So please don't waste your blue tickets for any SR characters. So that's my advice in general. So hopefully you guys get a brief idea of what I'm trying to say right here. Uh, consider this a warning to you guys free to play players please listen to my advice i just don't want you guys to make any bad decision all right so that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you enjoy it as always if you haven't already subscribed give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye